So I just got home from the golf course and my wife asked me how, how I was doing. I said, I'm exhausted. She said, why? I said, but Paul had a heart attack on the fifth hole. She says, oh no. I said, yeah, I mean, from then on it was hit the ball, drag Paul, hit the ball, drag Paul. Welcome to Shave and Butcher. We're trying out a few new things today. This uh, brush, this brush is from Frank Shaving. Frank Shaving uh, sent, I think it was seven brushes in total to Zani who runs uh, the Facebook group, Wet Shavers United. So a few of us are gonna try these out and let Frank Shave, Frank, Frank Shaves know what we think. So this one is cool looking, at least. We'll see if it's any good, but it looks pretty nice. Synthetic sort of badger imitation, which is a, a bit annoying because it takes a while before you are sure what it is, but this is <clears throat> a synthetic. Um, I measure 27 millimeters at the base and I forgot to measure the rest, but it's a, it's a sturdy little thing. A lot of backbone. I have a feeling it might be too much. It's more than I'm used to anyway, especially in a synthetic. So we'll see, we're gonna try it out. It's been properly cleaned, so, uh, so no worries there. The soap, if you wanna call it that, is Arco, the Arco stick from Turkey. I used to have one or half, half a stick, well, much more than half a stick and uh, to save my to be able to shave with my williams mug soap i did like i think flash told me and that was to grate the the what did I, I, williams mug soap is that what i said that's what i meant anyway mix it with this grate it down and then it actually worked but then i had no stick anymore so i i bought one again this is Less than a euro in Turkey, and I think I paid two and change here um, in Europe. So I was never really impressed by this, but it's uh, cheap and cheerful. It's a soap, hey? Okay? And uh, da -da -da, the razor is Erik <clears throat> Antonberg, a full inch razor, meat cleaver looking with plastic handles. Um, this is worn and torn, but I've polished it up reasonably well. I'm going to end with uh, Urban Viking Aftershave Splash from OSP, Obsessive Soap Perfectionist. And I, I forget which this is uh, inspired by or a copy <clears throat> of, of, a, of a perfume or an aftershave, but I can't remember what it is. Martin Rowland's going, oh, daft. Rick. Anyway, so I have cleaned my face with the cauliflower. Um, I forget what it's called, but it, it's a it's a charcoal soap, which is terrific as a, as a pre-shave routine to clean with that. I have three days of growth. <clears throat> Which is unusual, I know, but I've I pulled my shoulder. I, I I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to shave properly with this because this morning I couldn't I couldn't raise it. Um, weirdest thing, I haven't done anything. It's it's getting a bit better. The three days of you know doing everything with the left hand uh, is not too difficult because I haven't been doing anything important or anything it's been the weekend but uh weird weirdest thing went to the golf course oh, well. but i have done that a few times that can mess you up because you you bend your body around <laughs> in the swing so th this is what i'm gonna look like when i have gray gray white hair huh cool I mean, I already look fantastic, but now I'm gonna look just spectacular. Who is that man? And why does he make George Clooney look, look like a 
homeless person. Okay, let's see. This is. Uh, I need. I want to splay a little bit. Uh, it's not so easy to splay. So good for painting, but then again, you don't really need the backbone. So I, I, you saw what I did. I just made sure I had soap a bit everywhere. Doesn't hurt to get too much. You just work it out with a lot of water and a lot of action. So now it's like toothpaste. Had a moist brush. And now I'm dipping the tips. The tips shall be dipped. Oops. So adding quite a bit of water and then doing the round thing here. If I want to splay, I, I actually can splay all the way. To me, a, a bit on the hard side. On the, so you can splay, you, you, should, you can, for sure. And it's a synthetic, so I, I don't think it's gonna soften as, as it's used. Um, not a bad brush, but uh, again, if you're used to face lathering and, and doing a bit of splaying, you know, some people might like that actually. It certainly is perfectly doable. First time I pressed, it was a bit, it was almost like a wall, it tilted. Now it's working better actually. I guess I've bent fibers out a little bit so it's all right it's pretty though it's a good looking brush I think so the soap what about the soap well the soap is not gonna blow my mind I already know that it's not where I got it it's just you should you should have an Arco stick in your house some people don't um, Lee Hazley you know the, the the guy from what are you where are you from Shropshire or something <laughs> north of Manchester um, he said uh, that Arco throw it in the bin and just hope the bin won't spew it out or something some something something like that I get a feeling Lee doesn't like Arco very much could be child Hood trauma, you never know. A lot of people have childhood trauma with Turkish shaving soaps. Hmm. I'm sorry, soap in the soap in the mouth. Yeah, there, there's there's no this is gonna be an okay lather. It's fine and so on, but nothing nothing about this soap really blows me away some people pray by arco maybe they do a better job lathering but you i i don't the scent is hmm, the scent is like an old swedish old or well, yeah old swedish chewing gum brand called yinka which uh, I thought only people from the 70s and older knew about, but my daughter knew what it was. At least she said so. I said, are you sure it's a chewing gum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I asked her, can you still buy it? And she said, oh, I haven't seen it. So I don't know where she saw it. I certainly don't keep a collection. Yeah, so this, this is a serviceable leather, but really, really not a lot of fun. What I, you know, if anyone who's watching really likes Arco, why, why do you and what, what do you do when you lather that makes it enjoyable? Because I'm probably doing a poor job. I mean, it looks, look at that, looks spectacular. Really peaky, as peaky as can be. But it's like, you know. But, and I talk about this quite a lot. Your preconceived notions and, and opinions are, are so important. 
if this was scentless, it was like a blind test for, for scents. And I got a stick and, and I was told, yeah, this, what do you think? Maybe I would have liked it. I don't know. Now I know it's Arco and that I'm not a fan, but maybe I will become a fan. Who knows? Who knows? I have changed my mind before on quite a few things, particularly in shaving, particularly uh, because my, my skills improve on lathering and, and shaving. You know, it ticks all the boxes. So I did a good job lathering them. So I'm not going to get a better shave with a Martin du Condor or Barrister and Man than this. But then again, you don't need a super good soap to have a good shave, is my opinion. You can still have a super good soap because it's fun to use them. <clears throat> in my humble opinion, uh, unless it's not a proper shaving soap, my 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 shaves aren't aren't really affected by by the soap base if i'm perfectly honest because you know the soap is what does it do conditions the fibers so they become hard and brittle and and come off easily or cut in a nice way and and the soap also lubricates <clears throat> the area between the edge and the skin right then in addition it can be beautiful and fun to lather it can have moisturizing or, or other properties that, that is good for your skin and your post-shave experience. The scent can be great. So, you know, certainly it's not, you know, those things are important too. But in terms of doing the job that really is the job of the soap, making hairs brittle and creating a glide for the razor. To be honest, you know, because you, a, 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 you can build a decent lather out of any soap that is intended for shaving, not a hand soap. Um, and you can spend one euro on an arco and get the get the same result as if you had a suppose a fisio varicino or some fancy stuff like that. So not my first time using arco. I've used it plenty of times before. It's a pretty boring soap, but as you can see. You can get a ladder that creates peaks like, like there's no tomorrow in Scotland. There he goes again. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. I did a voiceover with a family the other video, I can't remember what I said because I, I didn't, it just came to me like, um, like a, what's it called? Um, genius, it's called something. Like the, the poetry gods came to me, entered me, entered me, and out came pure poetry. So, so yeah, so I, sh I should do that with a Scot Scottish family, shouldn't I? I won't, I'm just saying maybe I should. This razor, every time I use it, if it's in, 
good condition. I think this is my best racer. It certainly isn't my prettiest, but it's so incredibly good. It's ridiculous. It's as good as a wick. And it's nicer to shave with than a, than a wick. Well, maybe not quite as a wick. We'll see, but it's, it's very close. So yeah, I've been using toilet paper to torch my skin, and which is stupid, ugly, and a bit disgusting. So few people have reminded me to use an Allen block. Put the fingers on there and there you go. That's not going anywhere. Becoming a little bit bubbly, the holy shit, holy shit, a little bit bubbly. So I like to wet the lathers, and this was perfectly hydrated. Came off the the razor, super peaky, but it's not. It's not a crazy stable. Look, weepers, hey. It's unusual with this razor. But at least they can't say he's not shaving, he's not trying hard enough. Not shaving close enough to the blood. So the leather is breaking down a bit, not terribly, but a bit. You can see the bubbles, can't you? Makes no difference to the slickness. I, at least I can't detect the difference. There you go. So weepers, interesting. Alum really is a good idea. I love this razor. You can use any soap, any brush. You can use a cream, a gel. It's still gonna be a good shape. You know, you need some lubrication. Of course you do. But that you have if you just try a little bit with any old shaving soap and it's gonna be all right. Game five tonight, Vegas Herbs. Sorry to go on and on. You know, I get up in the middle of the night to watch this garbage. And I know most of you don't care, so I shouldn't talk about it. But it's, it's on my mind, I think, about it. There's football as well. I'm not going to watch that. I will watch it tomorrow because it's Sweden. So I, I, occasionally I watch the Swedish games, obviously, and I do care about the results in those, obviously. Sweden are through already with one game to play, which is kind of cool. But other... Other matches, I don't watch very often. I do sometimes. But it's nothing like watching hockey. Nothing. Hockey is the shit. Okay, those were the two passes. So let's see how we did, shall we? BBS. More or less, BBS, not here because I'm not going against 
with the dream and that's pretty good there's a bit there that's fine this area as usual so what did I say yeah here uh -huh -huh. and there and yeah so I'm gonna do a little bit tiny pick up just a little bit and I'll probably catch myself it's like that last race you, you do when you're skiing downhill and it's just just the last one just one more let's go for it and that's that's when you break your leg baby yep you know oh perfect it's razor or is it the soap <laughs> or the brush I don't know huh? I'm still finding out what to do here. Now I need to um, be shaving for so long and I'm still lost at times. Put the finger on the alum and stretch and we'll see. Poor job. Poor job. Well, I think I think good enough. Good enough. Two weepers down here. Did I get any more? It's okay. We don't care so much. We got that, and that's pretty damn good. It's not perfect, but it's very close. And I'm not gonna chase it anymore. So it's it's to continue this monologue. It's it's the razor. That's what it is. And a reasonable amount of shaving soap, proper shaving soap a decent amount of water and you'll get a good shape if your technique is, is there. It's not the soap. For me, you know, it's never the, the soap as I said does other things. Post fun it is to, to lather. I mean you didn't see joy in my eyes lathering Harco and there never will be but uh, I may still use it. I should because I did purchase it. Okay quite a bit of this stuff. It's not super strongly scented. It smells really really good. So I, I, sh I should maybe it has a bit of alcohol in it I think. It's no real sting, but I, I think so. Um, you should find out perhaps which perfume it is. Martin, if you're watching, maybe you can comment. If you don't, um, I will uh, I'll ask you. Because I may want to get the, the perfume, actually. Very nice. Much lighter than the perfumes I've been using lately. But that's nice, too. Not super light, it's not Chris Bailey light, like. So you on drugs, mom. Um, Frank shaving brush. It turned out to be pretty good, actually. I'll use it again. I thought it was gonna be too hard, so my mind thought it was too hard in the beginning. I don't think it actually was, because I forgot about it. Uh, but I'll, I'll keep trying it. But isn't it, isn't it, isn't it pretty? So it was that. The alum, we used that quite a bit today. I think I'll use that more. The alum doesn't cost anything either. I had this one for years, but barely use it. Arco stick from Turkai. And Eric Anton Barry, full inch, 
full hollow. Funny looking meat cleaver, perhaps my best razor. I paid a hundred euros for that. So, such a good price. I did put in quite a bit of work, but what a price for a marvelous razor, which is just as good as, as my Philharmonica 13. Don't you have a Philharmonica 14? No, I don't. I can buy one. There are a few at eBay. They're pricey and they're probably really good. But I, I really want a stainless, uh, no, a uh, carbon steel one with, with uh, you know, clear gold still visible on the blade. That, that's what I want. I know I'm going to have to pay crazy money for that, but I know, also know I'll get it back selling it the next day. Urban Viking uh, from OSP, Obsessive, Obsessive Soup Perfectionist. And uh, yeah, that was it. That was everything. Thank you very much for watching. We are really close to $4,000 in total on the, on the raffles. So, you know, if you want to get us over 4,000, have a look at it. Uh, I'll put a link to the Facebook group where it all happens in the description. If I forget, go back to three videos and, and, and check out, I should put a link to that too. Check out the video with the prizes you can win. And consider putting in, uh, I mean, not too much, just put in a little bit of money. Just get, get us over four grand or five, doesn't matter. Well, it matters to the people dying from Parkinson's disease. They care, it matters to them. Okay, look, thanks for watching. See you soon and stay sharp.